And now a pinpoint weather alert. We haven't seen this for a while. Heavy rain spread across the Portland metro area today. It wasn't enough to cause any flooding concerns, but gusty winds did topple this tree. The stump and branches blocked Southeast 38th Street. Uh, no one was hurt. And we do have team coverage tonight of this pinpoint weather alert. Chief Meteorologist Bruce Sussman standing by in the Pinpoint Weather Center. But first, reporter Chris Woodard live up on Mount Hood, where a winter storm warning continues tonight. Chris? Yeah, Jeff, the wind is blowing pretty good now, and the snow and the wind have both been steadily increasing all day. Now, obviously, snow is nothing new here on Mount Hood. You can tell by the size of this snow bank towering well over my head, but I want to show you just how much fresh stuff we have in about the last 24 hours or so. On top of this old, icy, dirty snow, you can see that fresh snow at least six inches. And no matter how used to the snow you are, dealing with a storm that dumps this much takes some work. Before the whipping wind moves in, it is a race to be ready. With more snow on the way, just wanted to kind of chip away at it a little bit, get ready. Fearing snow mounds, away from windows, stocking up for the weekend, preparing for the storm. That's good, good for everyone. Even with the hassles a blizzard like this brings. They can't even see out of the windows. In a place where snowboarding down the street is an accepted and common form of transportation, they're not only prepared for the snow. The weather, it brings more people. They welcome it. It's been about three weeks since the last significant snowfall in government camp, and fresh snow on a Friday means a busy business weekend. If it is all the way to the city, Oh, they won't come. But it's just up here. Oh, it won't come for sure. We prepare for that. No matter how hairy the drive may be, get rid of some of the snow on the car so I can see. Families like the Alimuns can't stay away. I'm pretty sure everybody and their mother is going to come up here on, uh, on uh, Saturday mornings. And as the snow continues to pile up, inch after inch, the tourist temptation grows. Well, it's awesome. That's awesome. Preparation. <laughs> Paying off. Definitely. Very needed. And here at the wayside where we are along Highway 26, there are cars chaining up. They've been stopping in and out all afternoon today. At this point, either chains or traction tires are required on Highway 26. They're needed whether you're going up the mountain or down. Reporting for you live in government camp, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin Local 6. Okay, plenty of snow up in the mountain, plenty of rain down here in the city. So right. is it going to stretch this storm into the evening hour? Let's talk to Chief Meteorologist Bruce Sussman standing by. And boy, when you said rain, you meant it today. Oh, it was dumping down for a good chunk of the day. And you know what? Even though it's let up temporarily in the valley, look at the snow still going where Chris is. He's about to catch a little bit of a break. There will be reinforcements that redevelop that snow overnight. Meanwhile, most of the I 5 corridor is dry. We do have some showers around Longview, but Everybody else mainly dry, except something else is coming in from the west. Our first area of showers. This is over around Gaston. Some of you in Hillsborough are getting the light edge of this thing. There's some moderate to heavy parts of to the showers that will move across our skies from time to time, both tonight and tomorrow. So don't totally write off the rain for your evening plans. How about those peak gusts? You were showing us the picture of the tree down today. We knew we'd have gusts around 35, and they were 35 to 39 miles an hour in southeast Portland, Westland, Sherwood, and Oregon. City. Just some examples from our pinpoint weather net. Outside right now, temperatures are fairly mild. They're actually warmer than they were most of the day. We're at 48 degrees. That's our high so far. Here's the plan for tonight. Temperatures gradually fall and watch for the winds to drop off, but the scattered showers will continue. Back to you. Thank you, Bruce. And don't forget, you can track every storm that rolls through. Uh, Portland into the Cascades. Just download the Coin Local 6 Pinpoint Weather app. It is free for iPhone and Android.